Before I start a drawing like this, I like to make a rough sketch to visualize what I want the drawing to look like. I just use a simple round brush to sketch out some minimal lines to use as guidelines for my drawing later. This is not strictly necessary for me to do, but I find it useful because it means that I have a clear idea of the composition. In this case, my composition is of a sunset over hills and cliffs that fade into the background. I draw the sun extra large to put a greater emphasis on the sunset. Now, I pull out a palette of reds and yellows that I made earlier and set it in the corner of the screen. These colors range from a light yellow to a dark red. I have discovered that changing the hue and saturation of the layers adds just as much to the feeling of depth as changing the brightness does. So, in this drawing, a darker, more saturated red color is in the foreground, and the background is a lighter and less saturated yellow. The brush I am using is a basic one that I made in Adobe Illustrator and Vector. It has been incredibly useful because it allows me to very quickly throw together an abstract bush setting. I have a few other brushes that you'll see over the course of this video, including a few rock brushes, some grass, and a tree brush. I am also making sure to separate my art into distinct layers. This not only makes my editing easier, but it also makes a parallax possible. This could be useful if I was importing this into Unity to create a game scene. Each distinct color goes on its own separate layer. Next, I draw some mountains in the background. These mountains are a bright yellow that nearly matches the color of the sky. I am just hand drawing these with the mouse since they are fairly abstract and the shape doesn't matter too much. I also decided to add a second layer of mountains, which surprisingly took me a little while to find a good color. I even tried using different blending modes, but I didn't like how it looked. So instead, I just tweaked the color some more. I also use a soft brush that is the color of the sky to add some atmospheric haze to the top of the mountains. This makes the mountains feel far away. I am making sure that I decrease my brush size as the layers get farther away from the camera in order to create that feeling of distance. I used to make this mistake in old pieces of art, and as a result, my art tended to look very flat. At this point in the drawing, the layers still look fairly flat. Each layer is the same color on all parts of it, and as we know, the real world doesn't look like that. To compensate for this fact, I am drawing and shading between the layers. I am just darkening the colors near the closer layer to attempt to blend the layers in and create a smoother sense of depth. Next, I add the sun. This sun is bigger than the sun would normally be, but it creates a better focus point when large in the scene. To make the sun feel bright, I assigned it a light yellow color along with a blur to give it a bit of bloom. 
Letting the bloom bleed over the rest of the environment puts even more emphasis on just how bright this sun is. However, the landscape is still looking a little bland. I do have one more thing up my sleeve though. This is trees. I can use my tree brush to paint small trees over the background mountains and increase the size of the trees as they come closer to the camera. I make sure to match the color of my brush to each layer, but there was one small mistake I made. I painted on the shading before the trees, causing the colors to no longer match. This resulted in a little extra work on my part. I make sure to not paint on the trees too thickly, since I don't want the scene to be cluttered. In this scene, I am adding more trees near the sides that drop off in density towards the middle. This makes the scene feel more like a valley and helps the viewer focus on the sunset. With the final trees painted on, the drawing starts to feel much more full and interesting. I now come back to fix the shading problems that I introduced when I drew on the trees. To do this, I lock the transparent pixels and paint on the dark color to blend in the bottom of the trees. After this step, the trees now blend in with the layers in the environment. There is one more step in the drawing, the atmosphere haze. The farther objects are from the camera, the more they seem to fade into the background. This is because air is not fully transparent, and thus the more air there is between an object and the camera, the more the color changes. To create this effect in Photoshop, I just use a very soft large yellow brush and paint over the tips of the trees and bushes. This further adds to the feeling of depth. Finally, it is time to apply a camera raw filter and view the result. I'm pretty happy with this drawing. This color palette is one of my favorites and I'm satisfied with how this turned out. This is one of my first experiences with drawing while recording, and I can say it's definitely a different feeling than just drawing normally. One difference in recording is that I have to draw everything all in one sitting. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. I'd love to make more videos like this on my channel.